Being a major character of film and screen may not necessarily mean you'll be praised by the critics for Bond's films. Take the case of the BMW Roadsters, Z3 as well as Z8, that played major parts in GoldenEye as well as The World Is Not Enough. Both were adored for their dynamism and didn't get a lot of fawning praise from the press, but they did manage to gain the respect of their owners. Today, the Z8 has been deemed to be a bit of an item of collector's value, with huge money getting paid for models with low mileage and flawless history. The Z8 was developed in its 1990s under the supervision of Chris Bangle. Chris Bangle, the recently appointed director of BMW's Department of Design, but its retro styling was originally written by Henrik Fisker. The predecessor to the Z8 was showcased during the 1997 Tokyo Motor Show under the name of Z07 Concept and consisted of two vehicles that were retro-styled, a Roadster and the similarly retro-styled Coupe. Maybe BMW has missed an opportunity by restricting the Z8 to a single model? In the event that a Coupe variant had been released, BMW could have produced a softer Roadster for people who are who are more attracted in cruisers and a more aggressive, driver-focused Coupe for those seeking thrilling driving. In the end, BMW didn't have the capacity to produce this, since the Z8's chassis was built at the Dingolfing factory before being shipped to Munich, where the manufacturing process was largely executed by hand. This meant that the Z8 was 10 times more time to make than a modern 3-series saloon.